so today we're just going to review a little bit. You should be getting back your 2.1 and 2.2 quizzes and uh, asking each other questions and going over those a bit. I wanted to do a couple review problems with you as well and also uh, just kind of go through the topics that have been covered in this chapter. This is not a huge chapter. There are not a ton of topics, not nearly as many as in chapter one, uh, but they're very, very important topics. All right, so I have two review problems that I want you to do. I'm actually just going to have you in a minute pause the video and, uh, and do this on your own and then watch the rest of the video to check your answers. So this problem says if student heights at this school have a normal distribution with a mean 66 inches and a standard deviation of 3.2 inches, what percent of people will be shorter than 60 inches? Okay. So uh, please pause the video, solve this. You can work together if you need to. Give students between five and 10 minutes to solve this problem. All right, I wrote the steps here, but we really do need to remember them. You need to start by drawing your picture. This is how the AP rubric is. It counts whether or not you drew the picture, even if that is simple for you. So the mean is 66 inches. The standard deviation is 3.2 inches, so I need to draw that out, plus or minus 3. So 66 plus 3.2 puts me at 69.2, plus another puts me at 72.4, I'm running out of room. And then one more puts me at 75.6. In the opposite direction, I'm at 62.8 and 59.6 and 56.4. My question says shorter than 60 inches, so 60 inches is right about here. And shorter means less than, means I shade to the left. Shorter than 60 inches uh, means I just have one z score to find. So z is going to be 60 minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. And that gives me negative 1.875, which I need to either call negative 1.87 or negative 1.88. I do not care which one you do. I've shaded to the left, so looking this up should be pretty simple. Uh, whatever I look up is the correct answer. So I'm going to go to the negative z-score side, negative 1.87 or negative 1.88. Here's my negative 1.8 row, and I'm at either 0 .0307 or 0 .0301, depending on what you did. So 0307 or 0301. And then I need to write my answer in context. So 0 0.0307 of people will be shorter than 60 inches. Now, this was clearly a forward z-score problem. I didn't talk about that at the beginning, uh, but we know it is because we're given shorter than 60 inches. We're given the number and we want to know what percent. In a backward z-score problem, we're given the percent okay, and asked for the number. So this one, same situation as the last slide, which means we're approximately normal with a mean of 66 inches and a standard deviation of, what was it, 3.2. And I want to know what puts us in the top 18%, okay. This one is a backwards z-score problem. Okay, so let's draw our picture. Top 18%. This is not as detailed of a picture, remember? Now, I don't care about top percentages. I care about bottom percentages because the tables shade to the left. So I'm not going to be looking in the guts for 0.18. What, 
what am I going to be looking for? 0.82. From here, please pause the video and finish this problem. Okay, this percentage is more than 50%, so I know I'm going to be looking for a positive z-score. Also, this is clearly above the mean, so the z-score must be positive. I'm looking for 0.82 in the guts, or the closest I can find. So 0.82, I'm going to choose point. This one's slightly closer, 0.8212, okay? Um, I know that that's the closest because 0.8186 is a little bit further from 0.82, and 0.8238 is, is way over. And so the z-score I find is 0 0.92. That's my z-score, 0 0.92. Z equals 0 0.92. All right, and I'm going to do steps two and three together. That's going to equal x minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. In step three, I need to solve. You do not need to show the algebra as long as you can do the algebra. So I'm taking 0.92 times 3.2. And that gives me 2.944 is equal to x minus 66. I'm going to add 66 to both sides. Again, you do not need to show this. That gives you 68.944. So my conclusion, a height of 68.944 puts people, ooh, I'm going to say or taller. puts people in the top 18%, okay? Remember with these backward z-score problems, you may be asked to do this in terms of a percentile. Percentile just means area shaded to the left. So if I say something like what height puts people at the 75th percentile, Great, that means the area to the left is 75%. That's what you're going to look up in the guts. This is a picture corresponding to the 75th percentile. All right, so your test is tomorrow. I believe there were four homework assignments. Those are due tomorrow as well. Remember, they need to be in order. You need to have your name on them. All of your work needs to be shown. Topics that were covered this chapter include density curves. Uh, remember the ones that we had to do using geometry. We had to verify that the area under the curve was equal to 1 and find certain areas between certain uh, values. We learned about the 68.95.99.7 rule as well as some other normal curve properties. This is when we first learned about z-scores and what do they mean. A z-score of 1.28 means that you are 1.28 standard deviations above the mean. Why above? Because the z-score is positive. And then in section 2.2, we learned how to solve z-score problems both forwards and backwards. You can spend the remainder of the period uh, re-watching videos, asking questions about your quiz, finishing up some homework problems, and then tomorrow we test. On Wednesday, I want to just throw this out there right now. Wednesday of this week, uh, we are going to be doing an activity using your digital devices. So please, as always, bring your digital device with you because we're going to be doing an activity that involves using that. Good luck on your test tomorrow.